I'm Shen and welcome back to my channel at Mama Banana. So today I have a really cool hack for you. I'm going to show you how to create a lot more bubbles in your bubble baths. This is especially fun if you have kids. All right, all you need is a simple poo noodle. And with this hack, there are some bonus tips within, all right? And I'll show you all at the end of the video. So let's get straight into it now. So for this hack, you just need to cut a piece of poo noodle to length to fit your tap, okay? And if your tap has one of these um, bits that come out at the end and the poo noodle is going to be too narrow, you just need to slice the poo noodle all the way down the whole length of it so that it can open up and fit around your tap, okay? So once you have cut the length of um, poo noodle to fit your tap, you just need to cut a little hole um, for the water to come out through the tap, okay? And we have this cut a bit longer than our tap so that it also provides a bit of protection for my daughter if she bangs her head or hips or anything off it, okay? That actually was the original purpose of this, but we discovered that um, when we have the taps on to um, fill up the bath, when we pull this out, okay, it actually creates a narrower opening for the tap here, so the water sprays out and creates a lot of bubbles when you have a bit of bubble bath. So I want to show you how much bubbles this pack can make, but I've only the end of the bubble bath bottle left. We're in the midst of a pandemic, so it wasn't my number one priority, but typical. But um, as you can see, that's the normal pressure of the water, and then when I move this out, it creates a lot more pressure, and then a lot more bubbles for the kids to play with. And another bonus with having this on your tap means that you can pull this out to kind of direct the flow of the water. So it means that I can fill up um, a jug. I'll show you now. Every morning I fill up a jug with hot water just to use to clean my girls' bum bums with because we use clot wipes. But the water won't actually reach the jug. So I use my little attachment now. And then I can direct the water into the jug. And this is also very handy as well when I need to clean anything under the tap because the water just comes out way too close to the edge of the bathtub. So I can direct the water out so I can kind of sit at the edge of the bath here and um, clean whatever it is that I need to. And while we're here, just a quick tip, all right? If you don't know where to put your um, bath mat, we like to put ours just against the edge of the bathtub. That way it stays up dry and lets all the water flow through and it's out of the way and if you get a cute one like this it just adds to the aesthetics of the bathtub. So I hope you found this hack useful. If you did please do give it a thumbs up and make sure to share and subscribe to my channel by hitting the button down below. I'd really appreciate all your support. I need a thousand subscribers before I can monetize and keep doing what I do which is sharing hacks and tips with moms all around the world. So until the next video, thank you and goodbye. So more bubbles means more fun. Is there lots and lots of bubbles, Haley? Lots of bubbles. Do you love all the bubbles?